Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a button to your site. May sound simple, but sometimes there are some features and hidden tips and tricks that you'll need to know to get the most out of Squarespace and your website with using buttons and the different versions, styles, and setup that you could use. All right, so here we are on my demo website. I'm gonna go into this homepage experience that I have, and I'm gonna show you how to add a button. First and foremost, if you're trying to add it to your navigation, that's a little different, which we'll touch on later in the video, but you're gonna go into edit site header and do it up there. In this case, if I want to add a button to my page, let's say we have this page section built here, and I wanna add one button below each of these elements, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just drag this down a little bit to give myself a little bit more space. From there, I'm going to hit add block. Now this is where all your blocks live. I'm going to hit add block to this section. Click here. It dropped it just right there. I'm going to drag it down, put it right below this section here so that the blue does not overlap. Now there's a few settings you want to get set up and do right from the beginning. So you have the button here. First thing you're going to do is click the pencil and then you want to change the text. All right. So first step is adjust the text to what it's supposed to say. So here we're going to do shop now. For example, that's our button. Number two, we're going to set the link. So if it's on your website, all you need to do is do forward slash, and then you can set up the link however you like. So if you have a shop page, it'll easily just take you to your shop. Just like that, super simple. And if you want to get really advanced, there's a lot more options hidden in this little drop down here that you could set up buttons with files and links to email or phone, all of that stuff. But here we set it up to shop. We're good to go. The third thing you're going to want to do is click design and then set two core things. So the first thing you're going to want to set is what button style do you like? Now you could adjust all these stylings, but you have three stylings here. In this case, I want it to be a transparent button with just a border. The next thing and the last thing that's most important is you're just going to want to make sure you hit fit or fill. Fit is dependent on the size that you have set in your site styles, which we'll look at in a moment here, fill just fills up the space that you have in this frame. So both of these have different benefits and cons and all of that, but if you want your buttons to be consistent on your website, I'd recommend fit, and then you just adjust alignment as you like. Now, I don't really like the spacing. I think there's a lot of spacing. So let's adjust the button styling and we're gonna go here and you'll see we have three different button stylings here. So I'll go into the secondary, the one we chose. Right here, the left and right is two and top and bottom is 1.2. I'm gonna change this down to about, let's say 0.7. I think that's much better. And then this 2.004 is really random. I'm gonna just do 1.4 EM and go from there. Maybe I could do 1.6. There we go, that's great. Now the button has a fill in, it's awesome. And then I could adjust those same stylings here. Just like that, I can hit save, we're good to go. One last thing to check is you do want to click mobile view just to double check that this button showed up right below the text it's supposed to and not somewhere else because these are different formats in terms of the desktop and mobile. So you wanna make sure that it showed up in the right place. In this case, it did. It showed up right below design and print tools which you could see here is where it should show up. Now, if you have this button set up and you want to duplicate it, you can easily do that as well by clicking on the button. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. And then I actually would leave some space here because it will help with responsiveness so that it doesn't smash the button. But if I like this button, I could hit Command C, I could copy it, I could also hit this little button here, which will duplicate it, and then I could drop it below this box here. There's a little bit less text, so I can drag it up if I want, or if I wanna align them, I could do that as well, and then I could do this as well. I just held down Alt on my keyboard, or sorry, option on my keyboard and just dragged it over and added a new button. So just like that, you're able to add the buttons you want and get it all set up the way you like. Now, you could do this across your site, across your pages, anywhere on your site. Now, the next thing is you do wanna pay attention to the header navigation if you wanna add a button there. So if you hit edit site header, you'll hit add elements and you'll see that button currently is selected. If you turn it off, you'll see it goes away. If I turn it on, it's back on. From there, you can click into the button, double click into it, and then do the same thing. Text us today, call us, whatever that is, uh, book now, shop now, and then attach a link. Again, forward slash shop, works perfect. You're good to go. 
Just like that, it's set up and now your button works. If you want a design template that has over 70 stylings and different formats for you to use on your website, definitely check out my Scale Creative Wireframes link down below where you could easily go in and start to build a beautiful website with a template that is more custom than most sites and you could use it over and over again for all of your projects.